Shalom Aleichem, Bezat Hashem, we continuing with the introduction of the Rived to the book of making, Sefer Yetzira. We're in the 10th path. The 10th path is called Sparkling Mind, Sparkling Wisdom. And it's called so because it is rising and sitting on the throne of the power of understanding and it shines in the glow of all kinds of lights and it influences the bounty of 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 all kinds of of bounty of 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 prosperity to the minister of the face so I'm going to read it in Hebrew, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. So the native Hayud, Nikra Sechel Mit Notzetz, Venikra Ken, Mipne Shehu Mit Alev Yoshev Al Kiseh HaBina, Umeir Bezohar HaMeorot Kulam, Umashpia Shefa Ribui Lesar HaPanim. Okay, so we're in the 10th part, and it's called a sparkling mind, means that it's wisdom that shines and break itself to smaller tiny sparks lights that are affecting others that are spreading to the sides and it's called so because it's rising and sitting on the throne of power of understanding power of understanding is in our mind okay so that wisdom is sitting into the throne, means into the vessel, into the cup of the power of understanding, means that we are grasping it, we are understanding that wisdom. And it glows in the shine of all lights, means that it's illuminating to us in all the illuminations, it's hidden and treasured in all the illuminations that we're experiencing in our lives. And it influences a great bounty of prosperity, of multi-bounty to the minister of the face. Who is the minister of the face? The minister of the face is the angel that is called Matat, the one that was the person who was called Chanoch, that he was chosen to be blessed with 70 names of Hashem and he himself is running the world for Hashem in many many aspects in many many ways and the 70 faces of Hashem that are exploring and opening and revealing and explaining the wisdom of the Torah to us are the 70 names of the angel Matat so the light that is shining to brighten our power of understanding, for us to enjoy the glow of all lights that is sparkling, that is shining towards us, is through the minister of the face, by the 70 faces of the Torah. Beautiful, I think. The 11th path, Hanativ Yudalef, Nikra Sechel Metzuchtzach, is called a shiny or um, um, cleaned mind, very bright, very shiny. And it's called so, Venikraken, Mipnei, because Shehu, that it is, Etzem Hapargod, the essence or the, the, the core of the curtain of the separation. The ones that stands and divides us from Hashem. It's not a bad thing. It's an aspect of a filter that is allowing us to see something like through glasses. Like when you're too blinded from the sun, you must put uh, sun sunglasses. So it allows you to see, to screen the light. And it is organized mesudar ha mesudar besedar ha ma'aracha in the way the ma'aracha means the um the altar was set means that it is allowing certain kinds of sacrifices to be done not flesh not animals we're talking about things that are elevated things that are running up rising up to Hashem. 
Hanitan, and it is a way that allows us to stand la'amod bifnei ilata ilot. It's a tool that makes us able to stand in front of the reason of all reasons. Mean means Hashem, the Creator. So that shiny, polished mind is the eleventh one. And it's called so because it is the essence of the separation, means the screen, the curtain that separates us. But it's not separating us for a bad reason, just to allow us to stand, gives us the ability to stand in front of Hashem. On Hashem it's written, Lo adam v'chai, A man cannot see me and stay alive. Therefore, we need to have a screen. We need to have a certain distance, separation from him for us to be able to stand in front of him. And that is the reason why that screen is organized in the organized way of the, of the altar that sacrifice sacrifices. And by that, creating a certain atonement that purifies us and cleansing us for us to be able to stand bright and pure in front of Hashem. The twelfth, twelfth path, Hanativ Yudbet, Nikra Sechel Bahir, is called a bright mind, Venikra Ken, and it's called so, Mipneshehu Etzem Haofen Hagdola, because it is the core of the great way. Hanikra Chazchazit, that is called Chazchazit. What is the meaning of the word Chazchazit? We need explanation for that. It's not a simple word in Hebrew that you can say, oh, I understand. No, Chazchazit is a unique word that was found here. But he's explaining, the Ravid is explaining, Perush, the explanation is, Makom Motze Chizion Hachozim Bemare. The place that finds the vision of the visionaries, of the ones who experience that vision, in a sight. So the twelfth path is a bright wisdom, bright mind, and it's called so because it is the core of the main way of the place that finds the vision of all the ones who are enjoying the visions in sights. So there are visions and they're being seen to many people. And all those ones who are experiencing any kinds of vision are enjoying that vision in that great place that is called Chazchazit, that over there you can see the visions and find them in sight. And it's a bright mind because it's brightening us. It's brightening our minds to think properly. Thank you so much. May Hashem bless us all. Amen. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e Shalom!